Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into one of the most astonishing breakthroughs in modern military technology, a system that could change the entire future of warfare. Israel has officially unveiled the JAW, Ropping Iron Beam Laser Defense System, and what we are seeing now is far beyond anything the world expected. Video clips and live demonstrations show the Iron Beam destroying drones mid, flight with a beam of invisible energy, and the results are shocking. This system has moved from concept to reality, and what it delivers is something even the most advanced militaries did not think would be possible so soon. Israel has been working on laser defense for many years, but now we finally have visual proof that it works in real-world conditions. The impact of this technology is massive, not only for Israel, but for the global defense landscape. Iron Beam is essentially a laser-based air defense system designed to complement Israel's Iron Dome, David's Sling, and Arrow systems. But unlike those systems which use physical interceptor missiles, Iron Beam uses directed energy lasers to burn through threats at the speed of light. This is not science fiction anymore. The laser strikes incoming targets instantly and silently. There is no explosion sound, no rocket launch, and no smoke trail. One moment the drone is flying, and the next moment it begins to burn, fall apart, and crash. This is precision destruction using pure energy. The idea of disabling incoming threats without firing a missile is revolutionary, and Israel is the first country to demonstrate a fully functioning battle, feel, ready laser system capable of destroying real targets in the sky. One of the biggest advantages of Iron Beam is its cost. Traditional interceptor missiles are extremely expensive. An Iron Dome missile, for example, can cost tens of thousands of dollars for a single shot. But Iron Beam's laser shot costs only a few dollars worth of electricity. This means Israel can defend against massive drone and rocket attacks without worrying about running out of interceptors or wasting millions of dollars. The cost difference is almost unbelievable. By combining speed of light engagement with practically unlimited ammunition, Iron Beam creates a new defensive model that traditional militaries will struggle to match. Another advantage is the almost perfect accuracy. Lasers do not miss. They travel in a straight line at light speed, and as long as the target is within range and the laser maintains focus, the threat will be neutralized. During recent demonstrations, Israel successfully destroyed various types of drones including quadcopters, larger fixed-wing UAV, and even mortar rounds. Each target was eliminated within seconds. The footage shows the laser locking onto the drone and heating it until the structure collapses. The level of control is extraordinary. Unlike missiles which explode near the target, causing debris to scatter, the laser simply disables the drone with clean precision. This reduces collateral damage and improves safety for civilians. Israel's development of Iron Beam was driven by necessity. The country has faced massive quantities of low cost drones, rockets, and mortars. These threats are difficult to intercept economically because attackers can launch large numbers of cheap weapons, overwhelming even advanced missile defenses. But with Iron Beam, Israel now has a solution that is not only effective but also financially sustainable. This marks a shift in warfare economics. An attacker can no longer rely on low, cost saturation attacks because Israel can shoot down each incoming drone for the price of running a home appliance. This tilts the balance dramatically in Israel's favor. The science behind Iron Beam is based on high energy fiber optic lasers. Multiple laser beams are combined into a single ultra powerful focused beam. This increases energy density and allows the laser to burn through metal, electronics, and structural components of drones and rockets. The system is mounted on a turret that can track moving targets across the sky. It works during the day, at night, and in various weather conditions, although extreme weather like heavy fog or dust storms can reduce effectiveness. Even with this limitation, the laser's performance in recent testing has stunned observers. The ability to instantly target and destroy small, fast, moving drones is a major achievement in direct deep energy weapons development. The unveiling of Iron Beam also reflects Israel's long-term strategy of integrating cutting edge technology into its defense doctrine. Israel has always invested heavily in research and development, especially in areas where it is vulnerable. Drone warfare has become one of the key challenges of modern combat. Small drones are cheap, easy to deploy, 
and can be used for surveillance or to carry explosives, traditional defenses struggle to deal with them cost-effectively. Iron Beam solves that problem. It creates a shield that can handle swarms of drones without draining financial resources. That is why many nations are closely watching Israel's progress. They understand that whoever controls directed, energy weapons will shape the future of defense. Another surprising aspect of Iron Beam is how compact it is. Many people imagined laser weapons would require massive aircraft or large vehicles. But Iron Beam has been built to be mobile and flexible. It can be placed on the ground, integrated into vehicles, or even potentially deployed at high altitudes in the future. Israel's defense companies have spent years miniaturizing and optimizing the laser technology to make it practical for military use. What was once a laboratory experiment is now a deployable battlefield system. This transformation required advancements in optics, cooling systems, power generation and targeting algorithms. Every component has been refined to make Iron Beam reliable and fast. Israel's decision to publicly demonstrate Iron Beam is also strategic. By showing the world that the system works, Israel sends a clear message to adversaries, drone attacks will not succeed. This raises the cost for any group that tries to use drones or rockets against Israel. It forces them to rethink their tactics. Furthermore, revealing the technology builds confidence among Israel's allies and defense partners. Many nations, including the United States, have expressed interest in developing similar laser systems. Some may even collaborate with Israel to expand Iron Beam's deployment or integrate it with other defense networks. Iron Beam is not intended to replace Iron Dome or other missile-based defenses. Instead, it complements them. Lasers are ideal for short-range threats like drones, rockets, and mortars. Missiles are still necessary for long-range ballistic threats. By combining both technologies, Israel creates a multi-layered defense shield with no weak points. This layered defense structure is one of the most sophisticated in the world. It covers everything from small drones flying at low altitude to ballistic missiles traveling at hypersonic speeds. Iron Beam fills an important gap that no other country has fully closed yet. As global conflicts evolve, drones have become a central weapon. Countries use them for surveillance, precision strikes, and even swarm attacks. Non-state actors use them to strike targets cheaply and anonymously. The threat from drones will only increase in the coming years, but Iron Beam gives Israel a game-changing advantage, a laser defense system that can shoot down drones instantly and cheaply is exactly what every military wishes it had. Israel is the first to deliver it at a real operational level. That alone makes this development historic. The reaction from military experts around the world has been intense. Some analysts say Iron Beam is the beginning of a new era of warfare where energy-based weapons replace traditional munitions. Others say it will take time for lasers to become effective in all weather conditions. But almost everyone agrees that Israel is far ahead of most nations in this field. The combination of innovation, necessity, and consistent investment has allowed Israel to break barriers faster than expected. Countries like the United States, China, and Russia are also developing laser systems, but none have shown the level of real-world success that Israel demonstrated publicly. One key detail often overlooked is how Iron Beam integrates with Israel's command and control systems. The laser is not operating alone. It is part of a network that identifies incoming threats, tracks them, and assigns the most efficient defense platform. If a drone is detected, the command system decides whether to use Iron Beam Iron Dome or another interceptor. This allows Israel to prioritize cost, speed, and effectiveness in real time. Such integration makes the laser system even more powerful because it becomes one piece of a larger, intelligent defense ecosystem. There is also an interesting psychological effect of the Iron Beam's success. Traditional air defense systems are loud and visible. They fire missiles that create bright lights and explosions, but Iron Beam is silent. It attacks with invisible energy, leaving almost no trace. This creates uncertainty for anyone trying to attack Israel. They cannot easily predict when or how their drones will be stopped. The lack of visible warning makes laser-based defense even more terrifying for adversaries. It is a silent shield that works instantly and relentlessly. Many analysts believe Iron Beam will eventually evolve into a more powerful set of systems. The current version is designed for short-range engagements, 
but future versions may increase range, power, and adaptability. With enough technological improvement, lasers could eventually intercept faster targets like cruise missiles. They may even be mounted on aircraft or naval vessels to expand coverage. Israel is already working on larger systems that use stronger lasers. If successful, the Iron Beam of today may be only the first step toward an entire family of directed energy weapons. During the recent public demonstrations, Israel showcased not only the destruction of drones, but also the ability to handle multiple threats. One clip shows the laser tracking several drones, one after another with impressive speed. This rapid engagement ability makes Iron Beam ideal for defending against drone swarms. Traditional systems would struggle to fire enough missiles fast enough, but a laser can switch from one target to another almost instantly. This capability addresses one of the biggest challenges in modern warfare. Swarm attacks are becoming more common, and Iron Beam is one of the few technologies capable of countering them effectively. Israel's defense industry, especially Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, has been the driving force behind Iron Beam. Engineers, physicists, and military experts have worked for years to overcome the limitations of early laser systems. One of the biggest challenges was generating enough power while maintaining accuracy and cooling. High-energy lasers produce heat, and if the system overheats, it loses effectiveness. Israel solved this problem through advanced cooling technology and efficient power management. The result is a system that can fire continuously without overheating. This is one of the reasons Iron Beam is so effective in real-world testing. Another important aspect of Iron Beam is that it reduces the logistical burden for the military. Traditional missile interceptors require storage, transportation, and manufacturing. They must be reloaded manually, and production can be slow during wartime. But Iron Beam relies on electricity. As long as the system has power, it can continue firing indefinitely. This gives Israel a sustainability advantage that few countries can match. Even in prolonged conflicts, Iron Beam will remain operational. This capability is particularly valuable for a country like Israel, which must often deal with sudden and unpredictable escalations. Iron Beam also represents a new philosophy of defense. Instead of relying only on explosive force, Israel is embracing precision energy. This shift may inspire other countries to invest more in directed energy weapons. The success of Iron Beam proves that lasers are not just experimental tools. They can work in real combat scenarios. Many countries may start buying similar systems or developing their own versions. If that happens, lasers could become a standard part of air defense across the globe. Israel has opened the door to a future where wars are fought with beams of light instead of missiles. The unveiling of Iron Beam has also sparked debates about the future of drone warfare. Some experts believe that as lasers become more common, drones will need better protection. Future drones may use reflective coatings, faster speeds, or evasive maneuvers. Others think attackers may use massive swarms to overwhelm laser systems. But even with these potential countermeasures, Iron Beam remains incredibly effective because it eliminates threats so quickly. It forces adversaries to rethink their entire approach. Laser defense changes the rules of engagement and forces attackers to innovate faster. One of the most fascinating parts of Iron Beam's development is its integration with artificial intelligence. The system uses advanced algorithms to track targets, predict movement, and maintain laser focus even when drones attempt evasive maneuvers. This combination of AI and high-energy lasers creates a powerful defensive tool. It reduces human error and increases reaction speed. AI allows the system to handle complex scenarios, like multiple targets approaching simultaneously. By merging AI with direct energy weapons, Israel has essentially created an intelligent shield that adapts to threats in real time. Iron Beam's introduction also affects geopolitical dynamics. Countries in the Middle East are watching closely. The presence of such an advanced defense system shifts the balance of power and may influence strategic decisions. Some nations may seek alliances with Israel to benefit from its technology. Others may accelerate their own drone programs to find weaknesses in the system. Meanwhile, global military powers will likely respond by developing their own directed energy programs. The race for laser dominance may become one of the defining military competitions of this decade. 
Israel's unveiling of Iron Beam is not just a technological achievement, it is a message, a message that Israel will remain at the forefront of defense innovation, a message that drone attacks will be countered swiftly and cheaply, a message that the future battlefield will be shaped not by explosions but by silent beams of energy, this milestone also highlights the importance of long-term investment in research. Israel began exploring laser defense decades ago, even when the technology seemed too difficult. But persistence, innovation, and strategic necessity pushed the program forward. Now the world is seeing the results. As we look ahead, Iron Beam represents a major shift in global military strategy. The combination of low cost, high precision, and instant engagement gives Israel a huge advantage. This breakthrough could change how nations think about air defense. It could reduce reliance on expensive missile interceptors. It could inspire new generations of scientists to explore direct energy applications. And it could set the stage for even more advanced laser systems in the future. In conclusion, the unveiling of the Iron Beam laser system is one of the most important defense developments of our time. Israel has demonstrated that lasers are no longer experimental, but operational. The ability to destroy drones in mid, Flight using pure energy at a fraction of the cost of missiles is a revolutionary step forward. This technology will reshape strategies, challenge adversaries, and redefine what is possible in air defense. As more details emerge and the system becomes fully integrated into Israel's defense architecture, we will likely see even more impressive capabilities. The world is entering the era of laser warfare, and Israel is leading the charge with Iron Beam.